Now this might seem a bit of an odd video for me to be doing but um, I've been surprised by the amount of people in YouTube comments who don't seem to understand the idea behind ballistics or how a bullet even actually works so I thought I'd just quickly explain it so a bullet or really what it needs to be called is a cartridge is um, how a actual bullet works the bullet is only the bit on the end you can see one where it's not in a cartridge there and how it works is you've got your bullet here you've got your casing which would be full of whatever the propellant is normally some sort of powder gunpowder and at the back you've got your essentially what would be your primer your percussion cap and when it's in a rifle or whatever the uh, firing pin hits this where you can see where it's already been dented that will then fire basically ignite the propellant inside the cartridge which will force the bullet out of the end of the cartridge down the barrel of the rifle or whatever towards the target now um, I've seen a few people seeming to suggest that this entire thing is the bullet no the bullet is just a bit on the end the bit that actually comes out of the gun this is just ejected and um, people not seeming to understand how a bullet is actually deadly you know saying oh you know only a 2 too long rifle couldn't kill anyone even an air rifle couldn't kill anyone but what makes a bullet lethal is how far it can penetrate uh, everything else is kind of added bonuses if you like um, when people seem to non-stop talk about stopping power it seems that they have no idea how a bullet actually works uh, to explain the concept basically a bullet will come out of the barrel of a gun, it will be spinning due to rifling and it will head towards a target. When the bullet hits a target it will carry on penetrating until it loses all its energy. A bullet doesn't have some sort of magical power that instantly kills someone. How a bullet works is it just damages whatever it pushes through and obviously if uh, somebody's hitting a vital organ that's what kills them. The bullet doesn't have any magical properties in itself, it's just a piece of metal that's moving at incredibly fast speed. Um, so yeah, all this when you hear people constantly talking about, you know, 45 ACP has better stopping power than a 9mm. Yes, there's some truth in the fact with some guns that obviously how the uh, sort of power of a bullet essentially works is the more propellant behind it. So obviously a bullet with a bigger casing is going to have more power because it's got more propellant behind it. So it's travelling at faster speed, and the bigger the size of the bullet, the more it weighs and the speed it's travelling at, all these things factor together to make it essentially have more penetrating power. And it will also carry a pressure wave with it. It's not noticeable really in small firearms, but if you watch ballistic gel tests with something like a 50 Browning machine gun around here, you'll notice the ballistic gel basically explodes when it goes through, because the pressure carried you know, from the bullet is so high that it causes massive damage to whatever it travels through but in a simple concept the reason pistol rounds are nowhere near as effective as immediately killing people is because they just have to rely on the person shooting them having a good enough aim to damage vital organs when they're shooting um, most of what stops people is either their individual pain tolerance to being shot or if they get shot in a vital organ which is why you'll hear some sort of you know news stories where somebody was shot 50 times and they were on drugs and they didn't go down because yeah, they weren't hitting a vital organ and um, they weren't immediately you know dying from blood loss so with a bullet it actually has to hit something vital unless it's such a big caliber bullet and traveling at such a fast speed that it will just kill you from the sheer speed and weight of it going through you uh, so that's that concept. Obviously, I know most of the people who've probably subscribed to my channel already know this, but um, I'm not uploading this because there's so many comments I've seen on other videos where people don't understand it. And the reason I'm saying an air rifle is still deadly is if you have a re air rifle shooting a heavy pellet, and the air rifle can fire the pellet at a very fast speed, so I'm not even on about UK legal kind of air rifles, maybe the ones under a FAC uh, would fall under this, but just in theory, if you have an air rifle that shoots a uh, heavy weight essentially a bullet or pellet that travels at very fast speed despite its weight it's just as lethal as a bullet because that's how ballistics work um, I've seen lots of videos you know where people are saying this person's got an air rifle it's a toy it's not a toy if you know if it's if a blunt bit of metal or a sharp bit of metal is traveling at incredibly high speed and it's got a bit of weight to it it will go straight through you and if it hits an organ it kills you that's how bullet work you know the bullets don't have a, as I said a magical killing property in themselves the bullets simply kill because they destroy your organs as they travel through you 
Um, and obviously some bullets are more efficient at it than others, but the general rule is if the shooter is a good enough aim to hit a vital organ, and pretty much any bullet should have the penetration power to at least get halfway through somebody, then that's lethal. The same reason that 2 2 long rifle is actually the most lethal round in the United States, uh, in terms of how many people are killed by it, is simply because it's so widespreadly available. You know, and um, lots of people have it, and if you get shot with it, of course it's a tiny round, but it can still kill you because, um, you know, if it goes into your vital organ, it's just as deadly as a bigger bullet. And there was an interesting documentary I watched a while ago, well not really a documentary, but um, a medical speech given by a surgeon who removed bullets from people. And he was saying, really the only people they can save are people who were shot, this is in America, you know, uh, in hospitals. Um, he was saying the only people they can really save are people shot by pistol bullets that haven't majorly damaged a you know, major organ. Or um, shotgun shot of, you know, like probably not double or, uh, double or you know, just the... Um, sort of probably like number four shot or whatever where they haven't gone deep enough to actually cause massive blood loss or damage organs he said you know if somebody was shot with a rifled slug or a rifle bullet they'd be fucked um, and that's just how it works so yeah the bullet has no magical killing properties in itself it's simply a projectile that's very good at going through people and if it goes through your organs it will kill you as I said I imagine most people watching my channel already know about all this but that's the explanation for people who don't know this is going fast enough, it's got a little bit of weight to it, it will go straight through you, if it hits your organ you're dead, that's how it works.